If you tell me to select one single effect in Adobe Premiere Pro to process my audio, I will select hard limiter. Welcome to another episode of each and every effect in Adobe Premiere Pro and today we are going to learn how you can use hard limiter in Adobe Premiere Pro. I have already prepared a clip so that you can practice along with me. If you want to download this clip, you can download this clip from the link in the description. So here is the clip. If I play it back. Hey guys, welcome to a new video and today we are going to learn how you can use the effect name Hard. You can see the audio level is little bit low, right? So first we need to amplify this audio clip. How we can amplify it? Yes, you already know that because we have learned it uh, earlier, right? So if I go to effects panel from here, I can go to audio effects, then amplitude and compression. And from here, I can apply amplify effect, right? So I'll just select this amplify effect and click and drag it on top of my audio clip. I have to go to effects control panel here you will see amplify effect have been applied you can click on edit you'll see this option here i can boost my audio a little bit so i'll just play it back and boost it hey guys welcome to a new video and today we're going to learn how you can use the effect name hard limiter in adobe premiere pro so without i boosted the audio so that we can get a healthy level right but the problem is welcome. when I'm playing. Yes, welcome to a new video, and today we're going to. You can see the audio is clipped. To right? learn how you can use the effect name, and that is what we don't want. And here you can use hard limiter. If I click and drag this hard limiter effect on my audio, then I can go to edit, and here you'll see there are some presets that you can use if you want to limit your audio to minus 3 dB, then the highest peak of your audio will not cross minus 3 dB. If you set it to minus 6 dB, then the highest peak of your audio will not cross minus 6 dB, right? I'll just keep it default and here I will adjust the settings, right? First, I will apply minus 10 dB so that we can know what is happening, right? So if I apply minus 10 dB maximum amplitude, then Premiere Pro will limit that audio clip highest peak to minus 10 dB. If I play it, Please welcome to a new video you can and see today we're going to learn minus 10 how you can use the effect if you set it to minus 3 dB it will not cross minus 3 dB okay. guys welcome to a new video and today we're going to learn how you so when you want to keep your audio clean so that it doesn't peak it doesn't clip then you can use hard limiter and when you are applying hard limiter you don't need to use amplify effect you can just delete this effect because within hard limiter you will see a option called input boost if you play your audio hey guys then you can increase the input today boost we're going to learn how you can use the effect name it will increase the overall volume of your audio right so if i play it back now hey guys welcome to a new video and we're today we're going level. to learn how you can and next two option is look ahead time 7 millisecond and release time 100 millisecond the first one is look at time is when the audio is crossing minus 3 dv then it will attack that audio within 7 milliseconds so that it can decrease the audio level and the release time is when it's passing the peak it will take 100 millisecond to release that effect right to release the limiter effect so you can just keep look ahead time and release time as it is and then link channels you can click link channels if you want to link the both channel together so that's it that is how you can use limiter in the beginning i have told you if you tell me to use one single effect in adobe premiere pro for audio processing i will use limiter right why i have told you right i will just delete this hard limiter and let me show you the process in adobe audition if i right click here then i can send it to edit clip in adobe audition so that I can show you in a better way, right? So I'll just enable this option, which is show preview editor. And here I will apply hard limiter. So this is our hard limiter. I'll just limit it to minus 3 dB. Hard limiter is actually compressor too. So whenever you are increasing the boost, so whenever I am increasing the input boost, you can see, it is increasing the volume of my lowest part of my audio here you can see it is increasing the volume and it is decreasing the highest peak of my audio too so it is actually compressing the audio it is reducing the dynamic range so whenever you need to process any audio you can simply use a hard limiter you can set a maximum amplitude you can increase the input gain a little bit and then you will see it is compressing the audio you don't need to use the compressor separately if you want but 
Personally, I use single bed compressor all the time. But if I am in a hurry situation, I don't have a lot of time to process my audio. I'll just use hard limiter to process my audio. So that's it. That is how you can use hard limiter in Adobe Premiere Pro. I hope you have liked this video. If you have liked this video and learned something new from this one, then you can give me a thumbs up. And if you need this channel, want to learn Adobe Premiere Pro or video editing, then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome videos just like this one. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Until then, goodbye.